What's up guys, Kate here from Master of Darts and today I'm doing a video on the Bobby George darts released by Winmore in their recent launch last week. I bought these darts off Darts GB for $51.95 and they came the next day after ordering so I'd like to thank Darts GB for their fast service. If you don't follow Darts GB on Twitter or haven't checked out their website I'll leave the links to both of those in the description down below. Before we get into the video guys, if you could drop a like down below that would be very much appreciated. It really helps out the videos sort of push out to more people who haven't seen my channel. So if you're a fan of the channel or a fan of this video, don't forget to drop a like down below and if you're not subscribed, click, click the subscribe button as well. These darts are 90% tungsten and 24 grams. They are 50.8mm long by 6.6mm wide and they actually come with genuine gold plating according to Winmore, so that is actual gold that you are seeing on your darts. The darts feature a ball nose with a twin ring grip section at the front. Then there's a little smooth gold section, sort of sort of front middle, and then middle to rear you have a, another twin ring grip section. And then across the rear you have a nice sort of black coated section with the C-axis machined sort of candles. These darts also come with a short vector stem, which are the ones with the alloy top. And they also come with a rather thick, I think 150 micron Bobby George flight, also new to the Winmore collection. For me personally, uh, these darts are a little bit garish, but um, I really like the darts because they're sort of Bobby George and they're adding to my sort of little bit of a collection that I've got of Bobby George stuff because he was my granddad's favourite player. That's all the technical details out of the way. What we're going to do now is get onto the board. Getting onto the board, what we're going to talk about first is those twin ring grip sections. What I will say is they probably give a grip rating of about a 6 out of 10. When I first got them out of the box, they actually felt really grippy, but after I threw them for about 5 to 10 minutes, the grip did sort of go down. I think it's just because of that sort of fresh newness out of the box, they felt a little bit grippier. But once I got used to them, got my hands warmed up and used the darts for about 5 minutes, the grip rating did drop down a little bit, so I'd say it's about a 6 or 7 out of 10. I did also have a little throw from the back section where the candles are cut out. What I will say is the grip rating there is probably like a 1 out of 10, it's not very good at all, so I wouldn't recommend buying these darts if you grip right at the rear of the barrel. In terms of how these darts land on the board, they landed pretty flat even though I was using a short stem. Um, I think that is probably just because of the way the darts are weighted. Obviously at the back you have that section where there's sort of not really any cuts apart from the candle, so it's still going to be quite heavy. And that's why I think these darts did sit down quite a bit. In terms of the gold point, I didn't actually ne necessarily feel anything bad about it. it. I didn't have it sort of drop out of the board. That might be because I was using the Blade 6, but on my Blade 6 I didn't really have any dropouts or fallouts. So that was actually quite nice. I really like the touch of the gold plated uh, sort of point because it does suit the dart really, really well. And overall, I think it is a really solid dart. I think if you like a dart that sits down a little bit and something a little bit different, this could be a dart for you because it is a very sort of simple dart in terms of its grip and in terms of the way it's sort of laid out it's a very sort of traditional style dart but it's got those little extra touches of like the gold plating the candles and the gold point so if you like a little bit of something different maybe this dart could be for you overall for its price i think as a collector's item or as an item you want to throw with bobby george's name on it and the gold plating the black coating as well and the amount of machining that goes into this dart i think it is actually a decent price at 51.95 Obviously, that is down to personal preference and your opinions. Let me know what you think of the price in the comments down below. But for me personally, for a Bobby George dart, I think it is a really nice price. So if you like Bobby George or you like the look of this dart, I would definitely recommend adding it to your collection. And yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching. As I said before, don't forget to leave a like. It will really help out the channel and help out this video as well. Get recommended to people who haven't seen my videos before. Leave a comment on your opinions on these darts, what you want me to review next, or what videos you want me to make next, or if you have any questions about the dart. And also subscribe if you are new to the channel. As I said, guys, that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.